Hey guys, this is Elvis, the tank destroyer. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little uh, show and tell here on my T62A. And uh, it's a little bit of a smart play, uh, adjusting my positions constantly, uh, covering all sides, being somewhat of not just one tank, but playing like on um, three tanks. So I've kind of given up on trying to take over the hill with the T62A because once I'm up there, my depression is just total crap. So nobody came through here and what happens next is Leopard and Grill show up on the other side of the island. So usually you don't see the Grill uh, pop in there over there but that was one mistake he just had. I didn't want to pay attention to Leopard right away. Um, he was... Uh, I wasn't really worried. I needed to also see where everyone was. And that's where I spot the 800. In my medium, I usually when I see stragglers like this, like an 800 by himself, I'm uh, definitely gonna approach him and take him out. And luckily, this 800 is kind enough to let me pass. And uh, that was it for him. I thought about flanking, but then I realized that the dead start might be somewhere up there. And someone sends a mes message, kill Leo. And that's when I thought, well, why not do that now? So I had a cross, and come around. I'm not spotted, so I'm trying my best to make sure that I go until I get up there. I'm keeping my gun on him. And put a round in his rear. He's a little surprised uh, and he's gonna panic, you'll notice. Moves back, tries to move forward, obviously. That was a miss on my part. I gotta keep away from the WT. The door sick. Uh, I'd like to draw him out. If he does that, he's dead. And there goes Leopard. Now I gotta deal with the WT. I don't want to get hit by him because that will be it. That will be the end of this saga. He does have a little bit of a depression. He's, I'm not sure if he's paying attention to me yet. He loses sight of me, which was a big mistake. And I wait for a shot. Take one out there. Now I have his attention. The E3 is looking at me. I pulled back and he misses the shot. Which is fantastic. Still paying attention to the Borsig. I take out the E3 from the distance. So working my way all around. Paying attention to not just the Borsig in front of me. But I'm also paying attention to what's going on on the other side. I'm going to come around since I know I don't have to worry about the Death Star anymore. I'm pulling around because I know I'll have a much better angle than the Borsig. I can peek out and hit the top of him and he won't be able to do the same. Why he's not rushing me, I'm not sure. He might be a new player or not, but it would be smart for him to rush. Now that he's uh, missed, he knows he's done. Here's his gun up and he gives up. There's no point. And that's how you use the T62. Even though he's got speed and agility, even though he can get around quickly places, most of the time you'll see people YOLOing with it, which is a big mistake. Uh, you really want to use this tank as an adjustable tank to all the situations that are going on around you and that's uh, also very nice damage as you can see uh, second spot looks like T30 did, has done really well uh, and that doesn't surprise me that is a wonderful tank well 
uh, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it uh, helped you a little bit towards uh, your future activities with this tank. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.